An Arakanat merchant, Tandav Murti has been living with diabetes for 25 years. According to him, when sorting Arakanat, eyesight is as critical as heartbeat. His vision is dropping due to diabetic retinopathy. If untreated, a wrong sorting may lead to a huge economic loss. Wilson is an accountant in a beady or cigar factory. He lives with diabetes and is the sole earner. Of late, he gets completely dazzled by the headlights of oncoming vehicles. While reading, he is unable to see the lower half of the page with his right eye. If things go on as they are, there is every chance Wilson may lose his job. Kendapa, a marginal farmer, owns just about an acre of land on which he cultivates areca and paddy. A sole breadwinner, Kendapa has three children, unpaid debts and proliferated diabetic retinopathy. If Kendapa remains untreated, he may become blind. He also needs to get his daughter married soon. This means more debts. With his retinopathy advancing, eyesight failing, Will Kendapa be able to see his daughter get married? Tandav Murti, Wilson and Kendapa live within 30 kilometers of Dr. Subash, a local ophthalmologist. Dr. Subash has the will to treat diabetic retinopathy, but not the means. Unfortunately, I don't have angiogram, I don't have diode laser, I don't have B-scan. Paying capacity in these small places is not that much, so I may not be able to invest a huge sums of money for these equipments. Like, I need to send them to Bangalore, which is 250 kilometers from Shumaka. A patient who can travel hardly 30 kilometers, 50 kilometers, that too with a lot of difficulty, even if you advise them from periphery to go to Bangalore to get the laser treatment, I am sure they will never be able to move to such long distances and bear the expenses of the treatment. It's very unlikely that Kendapa will make this 200 kilometer journey. Advanced forms of retinopathy will lead to blindness and often there will be no warning of this impending disaster. The risk that Kendapa may become blind is real. Till Nayana passed by. Nayana, which means eyes in India, is a mobile clinic initiated by the Vitala International Institute of Ophthalmology, Bangalore, and funded by the World Diabetes Foundation. It provides world-class diabetic retinopathy treatment in remote areas of Karnataka. The mobile clinic travels 25 days a month. Project Nayana involves training local ophthalmologists using state-of-the-art equipment to deliver the most advanced treatment to their patients. The 83 participating ophthalmologists in the Naina project were of diverse age groups. They ranged from someone who was just out of graduating from uh, a college to someone who had 30 years of practice experience. I am already 47, 48. Training uh, people in the age of 40s, 50s is not that easy like that. They came to our level and today I'm authentically I can handle most of the equipments that are there in Naina. I am uh, quite confident of uh, working with the instrument because of the training I've received. Video conferencing helps doctors on the van consult with specialists at the base hospital in Bangalore. It also helps the base hospital monitor activity on the van. Nayana brings care delivery by local doctors in the patient's own surroundings. As access to treatment is reduced from 200 kilometers to just 50, patients are willing to come for repeated sittings. Really, the scenario has changed. Nayana is coming to the doors of the patients. So they need not have to go to the tertiary hospital, which is around 200 kilometers. They are getting the treatment that they used to get in any of the super speciality hospital. Nayana provides free treatment to patients who earn less than 30 US dollars a month. The entire project was the brainchild of my father, Dr. K. R. Murthy. He was trusted and many of these participating doctors were his students. And this trust got transferred onto Nayana. They realized that their practices were being empowered. They were getting a whole set of equipment. 
they were now able to treat a lot of diseases which they were earlier not treating. The project involves training doctors support staff to increase their awareness of diabetic retinopathy so they can counsel and educate patients. Getting opticians and other important contact points to put up posters to increase awareness. For Nayana to be feasible in the long run, a sustainable economic model had to be in place. When we planned Nayana, what we thought was that we should not deprive a patient, poor patient of treatment because he cannot afford. Now for a paying patient, we decided to charge a nominal amount. We could meet our entire cash expenses with just about 30% of this. We decided that we would give the remaining 70% to the participating doctors. Now, Remember, these are busy practitioners and for them to wholeheartedly participate in this, they should find it economically feasible. And I attribute most of the success of Nayana for this sound economic model. Another challenge Nayana faced was transporting the delicate instruments on unfriendly terrain over long periods of time. A custom designed rack mounted on vertical and horizontal springs was created to absorb shocks from all directions. Since Nayana has been on the road, it has done over 150,000 kilometers without transport damage to the equipment. Can a model like Nayana be replicated? I'm sure Nayana can be replicated anywhere in the world. Because it takes into account local ophthalmologist satisfaction, local patient satisfaction, and professional satisfaction for all of us. People who participate should feel that their time spent is well worth it. The technical, managerial and economic aspects of the project have been laid out in a procedural manual which is freely available. A project like Nayana will be a success whether it is in Africa or Australia. The story of Nayana is really the story of those whose lives it has changed. A bakery worker from Haveri Ashok lives with juvenile diabetes. He requires a daily dose of insulin to stay alive. He was once offered a job. The employer would only pay for his insulin and nothing more. Instead, he got a job in this bakery. The bakery owner noticed Ashok had a problem recognizing currency. He came to the van with diminution of vision in both eyes. He was diagnosed to have proliferative diabetic retinopathy with tractional retinal detachment and vitreous hemorrhage, and he was referred here for his eye surgeries. The complex procedure was performed in this operating theatre in Bangalore with equipment made available through the World Diabetes Foundation. Today, Ashok has enough vision to maintain his job and dignity. Mohammed Hanif, a bus driver, was forced to take early retirement because of diabetic complications. Today, he helps out his son-in-law, a scrap dealer. He was detected and treated at the Nayana clinic. He feels his vision hasn't improved. It is just as it was before treatment. Mohammed Hanif may not realize it. Today, he can read the Quran only because he was treated before he lost his eyesight completely. Shakuntala Koti Gowda and her husband a living proof of what controlled and uncontrolled diabetes can do. She has been living with diabetes for much longer than her husband. Today, her husband has only residual vision and is dependent. Shakuntala, on the other hand, got her diabetic retinopathy detected and treated at the Nayana Mobile Clinic. She can go alone with any kid and afford the treatment over here. It's lesser than 10% of what we spent for our father. Harish, a counter boy, has been living with diabetes for over 20 years. Harish was given charge of the cash counter. Often there would be a shortfall in the cash collections. I was forced to deduct the shortfall from his salary. I advised him to go for an eye checkup. Harish was detected and treated at the Nayana clinic. Today there are no deductions from his salary. He retains his job and spirit. Dr. Vinay Kulkarni did a fellowship at the Nayana clinic before setting up his own practice in Balari. 
300 kilometers from Bangalore. The experience he gained from Nayana gave him the confidence and skills to invest in his own equipment. The treatment Tandav Murti, Wilson and Kendapa received at the Nayana clinic has ensured they can still earn their livelihood and retain their self-worth. And yes, Kendapa will see the day his daughter gets married. Although the Nayana Mobile Clinic may not actually transport patients or doctors, it is certainly helping them to reach their destination. Our diabetic workup has definitely improved. Nayana has definitely made my practice more comprehensive. I feel very uh, complete in, uh, in my professional practice. Nayana is one of the many projects supported by the World Diabetes Foundation in its effort to alleviate the suffering and burden of diabetes in the world. We hope many more people will join us on this journey.